Welcome back everybody. As you probably guessed from the title of the video, today we are going over the Whip Machine and Tool Mod 1 Silencers. So they're ultra compact, which is kind of a signature of theirs. If you guys haven't seen my original review of their silencer, which is a very similar product, but with a different mounting system, uh, definitely check that out. But basically what they're looking to do at Whip Machine and Tool is make very compact silencers that are affordable for everyone and are rated for life or full auto with no barrel restrictions in multiple calibers. So this is their latest iteration here being the Mod 1, as you can imagine, available in 223, 30 cal, 9 millimeter, because yes, 9 millimeter and 30 cal are different folks, despite what the internet may say, as well as 45 ACP. So uh, even the 45 one will still work, of course, on a 5.56 gun, but of course, having that larger bore, you're gonna lose a little bit of sound reduction. We are gonna test the sound reduction here today for sure on both the 5.56 can as well as the 30 cal can, which again is rated for huge calibers, not just the 300 blackout that we're gonna test it on here today. Um, but we've been shooting these for a while and I think there's a lot of pros to these couple of cons that we'll get to here in just a second, but before we actually put it on the meter, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, and that is NAGR. For folks that don't know, they are a national gun rights organization, and they are fighting for our rights, not just to keep the ones we have, but to reclaim the ones that have been taken for us, from us rather. So items like this, having to be registered, a $200 tax stamp, all of those sorts of things, they're not about that nonsense. They're a no compromise gun rights organization. I've been out to their facility, talked to their you know, head honchos, and believe me, they believe the same things that you and I do. And if you want the NFA and everything that comes with it thrown out, definitely check out the folks over at NAGR. Now let's get these mounted up and put them on the meter to see what kind of sound reduction we get from them. We have the FM products, FM15 here. It is not a piston gun for folks who don't know, it's a DI gun and uh, some Remington 45 grain 223. Uh, thanks to Remington for sponsoring the ammo here on the channel, uh, rifle ammo that is. We certainly appreciate it. We'll set the meter up and our meter here is 1.6 meters off the ground and the meter, or rather the rest is 1.6 meters off the ground. The meter is one meter to the left um, and uh, we'll get some readings. All right, we'll throw the can on, be right back. Now on to the 30 cal. For the test gun, we have our Daniel Defense with a factory 300 blackout, 10.3 inch barrel. And we're gonna run both supers and subs. So right now we have some Gorilla Ammunition 110 grain. Uh, thanks to Gorilla for sending that out. And then we have some Remington subs that we'll shoot as well and kind of see what that sounds like. All right, now we'll switch it to subs. Now we have some 220 grain Remington subs, open tip. Now we'll throw the can on. Now we have those Gorilla 110 grain open tip match and we'll see how those do. That's better than I thought with supers. 
Now that y'all have seen the decibel reduction numbers, I'm gonna talk about the mounting system that we have here. Um, of course, this is your base mount, and it, you also have this piece here, which we'll get to in a second, and then the silencer itself. Um, this system is pretty ingenious. This is a sort of hybrid of a quick detach or quick attach can, because this is what will stay on your gun, and this is what will come off, and you just rotate it out uh, by twisting it, which we'll show you here in a second. But these threads here are tapered. And what's good about that is that whatever point of impact shift you get, which will be minimal with these cans, but whatever one you get, because of that continuous taper, it will go right back to the exact same point when you mount your can back on, take it off, mount it back on. Every time it's going to return to the same point, that taper ensures that. That taper also ensures that there's minimal gas leaking out the rear of the can. And uh, the actual next piece right here is this piece. Now, as it comes from the factory, if you order this from WIT, this is what you get. This, this, and this. Now, by removing this piece, you can actually add an adapter for a chemo system. So if you guys have chemo uh, mounts out there, silencers, all of those sorts of things, it's the same thread pitch. You can thread it right in there and then use any type of chemo mount. Now, I didn't do that for this video. We basically just kept it as is in the original system, but that does thread out and it does give you an option that is pretty insane, especially considering the price point of these cans. But at this point, all you're gonna do is just thread it on. Like I said, those threads are tapered. And once it's snug down, you're good to go. I definitely recommend uh, using some high temp uh, thread locker on there to make sure it doesn't move around on you, but I haven't had it move at all. And one thing I really like about this system is you can see it at every level if I back it out is wrench flats. I love wrench flats. With silencers, sometimes things get stuck. It's sort of the nature of the beast via carbon lock and heat and all of those sorts of things. We have wrench flats everywhere on all three pieces. So if you need to remove them for whatever reason, just literally get a wrench out and strap it down and it will break free. If it doesn't, get it a little bit hot and it definitely will. So definitely dig the mounting system. As you can see from the fading sunlight behind me, we are losing light, so we're gonna to have to close the video out relatively quickly. Um, some things about these cans that we didn't talk about, overall length, very short, the weight, all those things you guys should be seeing rolling in here on your screen. They're made from stainless steel. Like I said, no barrel restrictions at all in terms of length, full auto rated. And if you guys get a look here at the screenshot, on your screen, you guys can see that this is a monocore silencer. Now, there are pros and cons to monocores. One of them is that they're very simple. Uh, if you ever need to clean them, it's even easier than a baffle type can. Of course, with rifle cans, that almost never needs to happen, but should you need to, you can do so. Uh, the con of a monocore is typically nine times out of 10, and that is the can, the case rather with this can, is you will typically get a louder first round pop and your first round will have uh, more flash than it would on a typical baffle can. Now, that said, there are so many variables to that. Uh, don't hold me to that in every case, but that is a generalization of monocore versus baffles. And that is going to be one of the cons of this silencer uh, compared to other competitive offerings that are in this size, which really there's only a couple. There's not a lot of K556 or 30 cal 308, etc. cans out there. Uh, this does have more flash than some of the competitors. That said, it's way less flash than not using one. So there is that. Uh, price point on these is fantastic. Like we talked about in the intro, uh, that is something that Whip Machine is pushing for and something that I definitely like because whenever you're looking at a silencer, uh, of course, there is a $200 tax stamp that goes with it as well as a waiting period, but don't let that sway you from getting one. Get one anyway if you want one because the more of them out there there are, the better uh, in terms of normalizing silencer use because if you look at Supreme Court rulings, a lot of times what they look at is common use. So the more out there, the merrier, and it helps all of us possibly restore our rights to have these without any sort of hassle. Anyway, that is a sidebar from me. So again, price point on these is $499 MSRP. Typically, you'll find them for around $400. So if for a silencer that is rated for what it's rated at and gives you the type of sound reduction that you guys just saw, and additionally gives you uh, very little in terms of length to the end of your gun, I think you get a lot for the money. Now, full disclosure, these were sent out to me for this review, but I have previously torture tested uh, with machine cans and they're very, very durable. I ended up killing one, but that was only by improper use intentionally. Um, but these are super durable, super rugged cans. And really about the only con I guess I could say to it is that for a lot of folks who want that ultra quiet silencer, it might not be the one for you. 
But if you want to take that edge off, then this will definitely do that very well in various calibers. Um, for folks that don't know who are new here, that decibel scale is logarithmic. So, you know, I haven't actually crunched the numbers yet, but even if it's 15, 20 decibels, 25 decibels, whatever the case may be, that reduction is huge in terms of real world hearing damage uh, reduction. Uh, so basically, you know, it's not just like if it's a 10, decibel increase over 100, it's not just 10% louder, it's orders of magnitude louder. Um, so that really is important. And of course, as you guys saw with the 300 blackout, it was coming close to quote unquote hearing safe. And at the ear, typically it's a little bit lower than off to the left, as many of you guys know. Hearing safe as defined by OSHA is 140 decibels, and that's just one impact to your ear. So if there's multiple, like if you fire five shots at 135 db you're still gonna have some hearing damage but they say one shot um, without back-to-back -back shots happening under 140 it won't damage your hearing so it's getting pretty close to that with that setup and of course again ammo barrel length all of those things are variables anyway i am ranting regardless the one thing i would say if they're going to improve on this uh, is that i have their canuder valve silencer that you guys may have seen in the past and one thing that does is it has a built-in flash hider on the end i would definitely like to see that hopefully that wouldn't add too much cost i don't know really how that works from a manufacturing perspective that would be up to those folks to tell you but if they offered that and say it was like 40 dollars more or something like that i personally would go that route just for a little bit of a better flash hiding capability but i'm kind of kind of reaching here for cons. Really, this can does a ton for the money and the size, and I'm a super fan of compact silencers. Yes, bigger, more volume, all of those things are quieter, but I don't like a long thing hanging off the end of my rifle. Call me crazy. So there is that. All in all, though, I think it's a very good silencer. If it's something that meets the demands that you're looking for, I would recommend it for sure. Uh, with that, we will close the video out. If you guys like this type of video and you're not subscribed here on the channel, definitely hit the subscribe button. If you've done that and you're not seeing two to four videos a week, you can sign up for the email at the website on your screen here. That email goes out at most once a month, typically not even that much. And it just has all of the videos since the last email went out. So that way there's no big tech social media giant censoring your eyes from my content. And if there's sales on anything guns and gear related that you guys probably like if you watch this channel we have a daily deals email as well and that goes out every day as the name indicates and has six or seven of the best deals that we find around the internet and if anything is in that email it is the cheapest that i know of on that particular date anywhere on the internet if it's not it won't be in the email so that way you guys can save some time and save some money hopefully by signing up so that's all i got for you thanks for watching i appreciate it look forward to seeing all of you in the next video